Nice to see you. She does a nice job. Yeah. yeah. I'll, catch you, I'll catch you on the weekends, you know. You know, it's funny. A lot of times when I do see the news, they'll be on the weekend in the morning. I'm doing my paperwork on the, my night before I go out to the kitchen table. So that's when I see you. Yeah. I very, I'll, sometimes I'll catch the channel. You know, I don't really see you for five Yeah. In five minutes, come out front. Because right. I'm on the road. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. You might want to, if you're available Beautiful, intelligent young lady. Yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry, Mike. I have <laughs> emails all the time. Nice yeah. to finally get the uh, the face. Yeah. How you doing? <laughs> good. Hi. Everything good? good yeah. Thanks. It. Oh. Warm. I know. Hopefully the clouds stay. Yeah. yeah I know. Yeah. There's more clouds now than sun, so let's hope that. Uh, yes. If, if you want, if you want, they're going to be uh, welcoming and greeting. Yes. Right that's so why I put this on my back because I'm going to walk over there. Excellent, man. All's well? All's well. Good, man. I was like seeing you on Facebook. 
Thank you. Any allies on Facebook? Yeah, 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 and vice versa. Yeah, yeah. Hey, started in just a second. Lots of moving parts today. do what horses do, so I think that's what's happening. <laughs> Michael, how are you, brother? How are you doing? Good. We're doing the shower. I love it. I love it. Yeah, we do a baby. Just move with it. Oh, what's happening? Oh. <laughs> I think that's what it is. It's right to see. This is the Nagara for my, uh, my kids. This is from my dad. Yeah. Uh, no. I wish you did. Yeah, oh, goodness uh, gracious. Okay. Put it up. We're ready to go. Funny that the last few weeks, because of a lot of vacations and people out, uh, 
and she said she had to direct the message to her twice at this point. <laughs> and she's been, she, she produced it yesterday and today. It's like imagining, imagine Mike's doing a contribution to us. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, but, I mean, she likes still getting to keep her hand in it because if there's emergencies, she can still just do anything. Whereas you have too much time to explain, she doesn't do it. They get new equipment, and it's just kind of like football time. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Riverfront Park in Springfield, Massachusetts, here at the site of Springfield's unique 9-11 memorial. We welcome you. My name is Tony Signoli. Thank you for coming out this morning in the heat, but I love this breeze that we're getting right now. We have a unique program for you today, very much so. And as you all know, we are gathered here today for the honoring of the, the Ground Zero flag, the flag that was flown between the World Trade Center's North and South Towers following the terrorist attacks on September 11, 2001, outside the New York Port Authority's makeshift office trailer. This flag is a piece of our nation's history, and that it comes here today to this site, to this unique memorial in Springfield, has great meaning to so many who work so hard to make this memorial a reality. We have something very unique that's about to happen, and I'd like to ask you to direct your attention to the historic Memorial Bridge, where by a Springfield Police Department Captain Larry Akers, we're about to see a motorcade that will bring that flag here to Riverfront Park. Thank you, Captain Akers. Yeah. 
guy's going to open it first and then yeah, hand it to him. They're coming right now. Okay, come on over here. Bishop Burns, nice, nice to meet, meet you. you. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. Mr. Mayor, uh, two of my gentlemen are coming down before we go in. They're going to open the flag for you to see it first. Yes. And then we're going to hand it off to the color guard to carry it in. Billy? And you don't need superintendent. Where are you? Fire Commissioner B.J. How are you doing, gentlemen? How are you? I'm doing well yourself. Thank you very much. Thanks very much. There he is. Yeah. My honor. Bishop, Bishop oh. Burr. Hi, good to see you. Bishop Burr. Oh. Police Chief. Oh, whoever, which one of you are going to do? These two right here. How you doing? It's going to be one project. Gentlemen, thank you very much. Yeah, they're going to open it. And then when they hand it off. Hand it off. We're going to step back. Yeah, and then the rest of the time we're following you guys. Uh, I told the captain, once they do the uh, national anthem, you guys, there's a table over there opened up. You guys can lay the flag down on the table. Just stands by the table with the breeze, just to make sure it doesn't blow off the table. Oh, no, but they're going to hold it for the first 15 minutes. Right. Okay, then we have a table there for you to lay yeah. down. Yeah, yeah, I just want them to keep an eye so it doesn't blow away. Alright, Bill and Jordan, these are the two, these are the two color guards. Present arms. Oh, they're opening. Okay, do a 360 for opening. Attention! Order! 
Thank you all. Please remain standing for a moment. We'd like to acknowledge the flag escort participants this morning, the Springfield Police and Fire Departments, American Medical Response, the Hamden County Sheriff's Department, and the Massachusetts Patriot Guard Riders. Ladies and thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have another special honor and treat right now for all of our ears. Ladies and gentlemen, the voice of Springfield, Vanessa Ford, will now sing the national anthem. Vanessa.
Thank you, Vanessa. Wow, as always. Thank you. We'd like to ask you all to be seated now, and we'll begin the brief program. The incredible effort to build this memorial here had an amazing chairman, and that chairman was the head of the city of Springfield. I'd like to introduce the Honorable Dominic J. Sarno, Mayor of Springfield. Mayor Sarno. Tony C., even when he's on injured reserve, he's still being the master of ceremonies. Let's give him a round of applause. He's on his way uh, back to uh, being 110% again. To uh, Bishop Byrne, uh, who has been a good, good friend, not only to the diocese, but to the city of Springfield. Thank you, my friend, for being here. Let's give the bishop a big round of applause. Not only for his wisdom and prayers, but for his levity, too. God knows we need that. To our hardworking and, and brave police superintendent, Cheryl Claproot, and to our fire commissioner, B.J. Calvi, and their ranks. Let's give them a big round of applause for what they do to keep us safe and sound. To the irrepressible mistress of ceremonies, Judy Batt and the spirit of Springfield and team, let's give her a big round of applause. This is near and dear to her heart. To the uh, Patriot Guard that is here, to AMR, who's been a great, great uh, partner, to Pat Sullivan and our Parks Division, all the Parks guys uh, that are here, and to Vanessa Ford, the songstress of the city of Springfield, that golden and powerful and emotional voice. Thank you very, very much. I want to thank Mr. Lemieux and Mr. Miller for reaching out to me uh, for this honor and privilege of having the Ground Zero flag here at our 9-11 Memorial Monument that we have here that's very tastefully done, respectfully done, and proudly done. As we move forward, the young men and women, our first responders, when that terrible tragedy occurred some 21 years ago, everybody forgets being a public servant. We don't mind constructive criticism. But everybody forgets when everybody's running out of that building, it's those first responders that are running into that building to save structure and lives. And to our military personnel, Godspeed to each and every one of you for what you do here in our country and abroad. Let's give them a big round of applause. So that day, those first responders were there to save lives. Little did they know that they would be running into an inferno and never come back home. For that, we must always remember and never forget the ultimate sacrifice that they made and the sacrifices that all our first responders and military make day in and day out. I remember a few days after 9-11 had occurred, there was a public service announcement or TV commercial and it showed, it could be a street down here in the south end, Lombard Street, it showed houses with maybe one or two American flags on their front porches. And then it showed September 13th or 14th. And every house on that street had an American flag. And it showed the unity that the men and women, no matter what creed, color, or background in the United States had in times of tragedy, to come together as one. And I always tell people, we are not perfect, but they always must remember and never forget, the United States of America is still the greatest country in the world. The beacon of democracy, strength, opportunity, and hope. And why is that? Besides the people, it's the first responders, and especially our military. 
here and abroad that fight for it day in and day out. So I wish we had a little more of this, God knows, in our country, in our state, in our city, in the world. We need more of this than this. And unfortunately, at times, it comes about during tragedy. We need it to happen when times are good, to work together for the betterment of all. To everybody involved in this Ground Zero flag, thank you so much. We are truly honored and privileged. And to think that this was right down there, and now it's on the Springfield Riverfront in downtown Springfield South End with our very tasteful and respectful and proud 9-11 monument. Godspeed to you all, and good health. Thank you very, very much. Thank you, Mayor Sarno. A lot of us know that Andy Carr, the Chief of Staff to the President of the United States during 9-11, was here for this dedication. And I've had an opportunity to speak to him a few times, and also to President Bush and Kenny Bunkport. So a message, Mayor, from George Bush, just to say this. He knows what's been done here. He's aware of it. It touches him, and he hopes one day to have an opportunity to visit with you and say thank you. So thank you, Mayor Sarno. We uh, are very, very blessed to have so many unique folks with us here today. And the mayor has already mentioned this gentleman, but I'd like to now introduce Jordan Lemieux, Massachusetts Honor and Remember Chapter, retired Holyoke firefighter, and also retired of the United States Air Force. Jordan? States Air Force vet, retired oil firefighter, vice president emeritus of professional firefighters in Massachusetts. I wish to thank all of in attendance today for taking the time out of your day for this very important ceremony. We are gathered today not to view a flag, but more importantly to honor the thousands who sacrificed so much, including the ultimate sacrifice to ensure our freedom. The flag stood at ground zero. It was placed in the rubble between the north and south towers on the pile. The flag symbolizes America, the United States. It stood and told all of us that although we've been knocked down, the United States will rise up. We will not be defeated. We are the United States of America. Now, before the heat takes us all out, remember this flag as it travels from Mass to Vermont, New Hampshire, and to the coast of Maine, honoring vets that paid the ultimate sacrifice so that we could all enjoy our freedom. Please, will all vets, first responders, as well as retirees stand? I. And I'm sure all in attendance today wish to thank you for your continued service and the sacrifices you make so that we can enjoy our freedom. Thank you, and God bless America. Thank you, Jordan. Fantastic comments. The mayor had a great description of first responders earlier. And often, when I think of our first responders, that the heads of our police department and fire department are always there. They're on the street and they lead from the front. I'm very proud to now introduce the superintendent of the Springfield Police Department, Cheryl Clapper. Calvi, to the men and women in, in blue that are here from the Springfield Police Department, State Police, AMR, Patriot Riders, and my friends at the uh, Hendon County Sheriff's Department. On behalf of the entire Springfield Police Department, it's our honor to be here today to get a glimpse of such a, a piece of cloth, yes, but what it represents is so much more. It's so powerful and awesome what it symbolizes. And that's what I think we have to take just a minute and think about today. 
Why did it fly at ground zero? Why has it made such a journey? Why is it revered so? Why do we honor it today? Not because it of itself is a piece of cloth with 13 stripes and 50 stars. It's what it represents to us. And it's an amazing symbol because it has people coming from two different uh, honorings. It, it, it honor, we honor it because it's the United States of America, the greatest country in which anybody could live. We honor our freedom. We honor our way of life. We honor our democracy. But also, it holds something personal for everyone. We all can think of friends, relatives, uh, my father who was in the Navy World War II, my uncle who was a POW. I, I think of the friends I had in the Air Force, some that I lost, some that are still here that are wounded uh, immensely. They gave their limbs, they gave their lives. I have first responders, I'm asked of a lot, why are so many military first responders because it's in us to serve, to do what we can for others to help, and to, yes, give the ultimate sacrifice. Three friends of mine gave the ultimate sacrifice while working at the Springfield Police Department. I think of them often. That's what the flag symbolizes. It brings us peace, comfort, and knowledge of who we all are. And so it's a tremendous, awesome symbol. It flew in certain areas to bring peace and tranquility and to let people know it'll be all right. Why did it fly over ground zero? Why do we have such homage, pledge to it, and sing to it? Because not only does it show us what we're about in our lives, it brings us hope and inspiration that the majority of us think that way. The majority of us want to live peaceful lives in democracy without freedom of fear or violence in our lives. It's an awesome, powerful symbol to which we are humbly here today to honor. Thank you. Thank you, Superintendent. Perfectly said. We'd now like to ask the Springfield Fire Department Commissioner, B.J. Calvi, to join us. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. It's a great honor to be here this morning to represent the Springfield Fire Department and the men and women of the Springfield Fire Department, as well as the uh, Springfield Emergency Communications Division, which does so much for the city as well. Uh, I'd like to thank Judy Matt for putting this together on short notice, the Bishop for being here, Mayor Sarno, Commissioner, uh, Superintendent Clapper, for all the hard work they've done to help get this together. The Spring, uh, the uh, Hamden County Sheriff's Department, the Patriot Guard, the uh, Airmen from Barnes Air National Guard Base, thank you all for being here this morning. This flag is of great historic significance. Not only did it fly over Ground Zero right after 9-11, it also went downrange with the 4th Inter Infantry Division and with SEAL Team 6 as they carried out dangerous missions overseas. This flag has been around the world, and it's a great honor to have it here now in Springfield next to another artifact of significant, uh, historical significance, this beam that stands behind me, part of the Springfield 9-11 Memorial. On the back of this memorial are the names of all the first responders who paid the ultimate sacrifice on this day. And this flag being here is a huge tribute to all of them, as well as to everyone in America. As uh, Superintendent Clapper said, the flag means so many things to so many different people. The flag stands for America, it stands for freedom, it stands for the greatness of this country, and I'm proud to have it here today. My family has many people that served in the military. As uh, Commissioner Clapru, my uh, grandfather's brother was a POW at the time. He paid the ultimate sacrifice at the Cabana Tuan. My, uncle, uh, my grandfather was in the Army. My other uncle was a naval aviator in World War II. My family has a long history of service. I'm a first responder. So it's a great honor to be here today to see this flag and to be with all of you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Commissioner. I'd like to make just a few introductions. And we are very, very happy, and they've already been mentioned. We're very proud to have the members of the 104th U.S. Air Force with us here this morning. Please stand. Thank you very much for your service. 
Judy, we appreciate you so very much. Thank you. We also wanted to introduce and mention Jeff Siriano from American Medical Response. You and yours are amazing, and we thank you for your service. Stunning. All that American Medical Response does in this city, above and beyond, too. It's just not what you do every day. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. This next part of the program, I hope my mom's watching because this will make her happy that I'm about to be at a podium with the next individual. And we are very, very happy to have him here with us today. As the mayor said, he's not just a spiritual leader of Springfield and Greater Spiracle. He's a really cool guy on top of that. He's got a really cool dog. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bishop of the Diocese of Springfield, His Excellency William Byrne. Thank you, Tony. Thank you, Mr. Mayor and Commissioner and Superintendent. It's an honor for me to be here. It's actually a very personal uh, memories of this day, of the days after 9-11, because as a priest, I was called upon to do some 9-11 funerals, and they were people that I knew, friends of mine. One, Michelle Heidenberger, who died in Flight 77 when it crashed into the Pentagon, and another was a college chem, Michael London, who uh, went, was working for Cantor Fitzgerald and went down with the towers. So it's been a journey of knowing their families and walking with them. So this flag represents not just the greatness of our country, not just the heroism, but it also represents real people's lives. Real people's lives who are affected every day by violence and by hatred and by ugliness. But that's why we have our first responders. That's why we have our, our police, our fire, um, our, uh, the EMTs and our military to keep us safe, to let us know that good always wins. And so I've been called upon to bless this flag, but rather it blesses us. It's a sacred icon, I think, of, of what we can be as a country. I remember as distinctly as the, those flags that, that the mayor spoke of, but the unity that we all felt in this common sense of what it meant to be an American and working towards the common good, and somehow like water to our hands that has eluded us of day of these past days. And what a pity for our, a new generation who weren't even alive or don't remember the, the, the horror of 9-11 to have never experienced that unity but only discord. So as we pray together, we want to pray for the unity, for the common good, for a, a single vision of what this country can and should be, and the role that we, especially those of, of people of faith, of making that unity come about. So I'm not going to pretend to be a Vanessa, but I think a most appropriate prayer would be if I could call Vanessa and she would lead us in God Bless America. All right? And that will be our prayer as we pray for to ask God to bless us. Hope you don't mind. God bless you too. And God bless you all. Thank you, Bishop. Thank you, Bishop. And I would ask that you all could sing along with me on this morning. God bless America. to all guests here, especially to our veterans, to sign the flag, 
logbook, to add your names to all those others that have been on the journey of this flag. We'd like to acknowledge our program supporters. We really appreciate you all. Certainly the Massachusetts chapter, honor of honor and remember, the New England Run for the Fallen, Amtrak Police. Thank you very much. That was great getting us in here today. Thank you. Amtrak. JX2 Productions, Michael's Party Rentals, the Springfield Department of Parks, Buildings and Recreation Management, and of course, the Spirit of Springfield, who time and time again makes these events happen. It is so grand, so great to see you all. So many people I wish I could introduce here. I would like to point out that the president of the Agawam City Council is here with us today. Or, I'm sorry, he's not the president any longer. Anthony Russo from Agawam, thanks for coming across the river. And thank, you. and thank you all, every single one of you. This means a great, great, great deal to all those who paid the ultimate price and those who serve us every single day. Ladies and gentlemen, we'd like you to please stand one last time now for the retiring of the colors. Thank you very much. And the, the guest book is right over here on the table uh, behind the bench here. Thank you all so much this morning. Thank you. Thanks, Tony. Hey, Mayor, fantastic. Thank you. Thanks, Tony. Thank you. So good to see you. Thank 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 you.